Another 1991 Donruss for the set, coming up. Hello again, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Troy Rudder, and I literally wrote the book on collecting autographs through the mail, and I'm so glad you're here. You know, I teach you how to collect autographs through the mail, and then I also show you some of my recent successes, so you have a opportunity to see who is actually signing and maybe you can write for their autograph as well. So thank you so much. I know you have a lot of people here on YouTube to choose from when you are looking at videos. So definitely appreciate it. So let's get right into it. I know you are dying to see who I added to my 1991 Don Russ set and I don't think this will disappoint you. So here it is. Boom. All right, we have Steve Avery, believe it or not. <laughs> he signed one of one in about 35 days. Now I did send this through past pros for $12. Now, a lot of people have been asking me how many I have so far. This is actually number 302 of 770 for the Don Russ set. So I'm not even halfway there, believe it or not. <laughs> now, Steve, Played for the Braves, the Red Sox, the Reds, and the Tigers from 1990 to 2003. And he was a 1993 All-Star, as well as a 1995 World Series champion and the NLCS MVP in 1991. He has a 96 and 83 record with 980 strikeouts. Steve Avery for the set. Next, we have a hockey return from Russ Courtnell. He signed two of two in 14 days via his home in California. Now, Russ played for the Maple Leafs, the Canadians, the North Stars, and the Canucks during his career, as well as the Rangers and the LA Kings. And here's the second card there. Again, he signed two of two in 14 days. And he had an active career from 1983 to 1999. Russ Courtnell. Next, we have a Yankees catching great, Rick Cerrone. He signed one of one in 12 days via his home in New Jersey. Now, he played for the Indians, the Blue Jays, the Yankees, the Braves, the Brewers, the Red Sox, the Mets, and the Expos <laughs> from 1975 to 1992. And a little known fact about uh, Mr. Cerrone is he actually released a song called A Long Home Run in 1981, which he donated the proceeds to the Italian Earthquake Victims Fund. So I'm going to try to find a link to a video for the long home run and link it in the description. And you can click it and just listen to him singing in all of his glory, this song called The Long Home Run. Should be interesting. I haven't even uh, listened to it myself yet. So I'll try to find it and link it below. If I can't find it, I'll try to find out more information and put that down there in the doobly-doo, as the uh, vlog brothers say. So let's go to the next TTM right now. Boom. All right, next we have Jim Barr. He actually signed three of one. I sent him one card and he sent back two of his own in about 16 days via his home in California. Now, he played for the Giants and the Angels from 1971 to 1983 and is a member of the Giants Hall of Fame. After that, he was a pitching coach for Sacramento State University for over 16 years. So I hope I had enough time to show you all of those three cards from Jim Barr. Again, he signed one of one of mine and included two of his own in about 16 days. I hope you've enjoyed that look at my autographs that I've gotten in recently, including the 1991 Don Ross. Again, I am 302 of 770, so I still have a long way to go. But if you want to see that progress, it's I just updated the website at ttmautograph.com. I have a picture of every card of the set that I have, and it's really, you know, I think it's a great way in my opinion, to showcase those cards because I think they look fantastic. Even though 1991 Don Russ is considered a very bad uh, <laughs> um, product by a lot of people, 
I, I think uh, getting it signed has been a, a fun project. I, I've never done anything like that before. So thank you for all your interest in that. I think that's really cool that you've been here on this journey with me to collect those 1991 Don Russes. It means a lot. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have had some success on uh, getting some returns in lately. Really appreciate it. And I always say this and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> May your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>